What's up, guys? I am going to speak to all my AMC folks that are listening because I still hold the stock. I've been holding the stock, been upside down, 80, 90 percent, whatever the case may be, just like all of you. I went a different direction. I've been trying not to even discuss this stock at all. I've changed my channel, of course. But again, we just had this vote and there's some things that came up that just don't make sense to me. And it's like I don't see a lot of people that potentially talk about it. I'm the kind that becomes... Uh, relentless in something if something just doesn't add up or does not make sense i don't let go of it i don't let go of things very easily at all and so we had this vote and there's a few different things in this vote that are like what the freak right so a couple things do y'all know how many people voted does anybody go and look i i, I was thinking about it because i read an article was talking about the results and what we voted on and didn't vote on right and I've always been an advocate, uh, last time I made a video, get out there and vote, 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 that we can show them. Because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, since the beginning, this whole entire AMC movement was based on the simple fact that there were supposedly billions of synthetic shares. I had done videos on it, did math about how many shareholders and how many apiece and all this stuff. Because Adam came out and told us way back when, June of 2021, whenever it was, July, May, I don't remember now, that there was 4.2 million AMC shareholders. And then we just had that lawsuit, right? And then the lawyer said, for all of those that were listening in when they were talking, the lawyer said 3.8 million shareholders, which means a half a million had disappeared, right? But regardless, that's still a lot of shareholders. And I've made videos on this and I've pointed this out. But guys, why the hell and where the hell are all the 3.8 million? And I'm sure it's less now. But still, even if it's 3 million, where the hell are they at? Where is the votes? And the reason I say that is because if you look, I'll attach it right here. But if you look, it shows, let me make sure I pull up the right one here. It shows, let me read them off. On June 5th, 2024, the company held its annual meeting. A total of 138 million, 578 million, or 578, 492 out of 276 million, 388 thousand two hundred and fifty eligible shares of the company's common stock were present in person or represented by a proxy at the annual meeting for the non-routine matters 50 million nine hundred ninety nine thousand six hundred ninety one let's call it 51 million shares participated after excluding broker non-votes so 51 million out of 276 million shares, okay? And it's funny, we're almost back up to where the float was. Remember I said the reverse split and Adam would do that, but anyway. So 51 million out of 276. Somebody do the math, tell them what they want, Johnny. 18%. 18% of the shares, of holders, or shares, that's not holders, that's number of shares voted. 18% of the float that makes absolutely zero sense to me. It always has made zero sense to me. If you go back and you pull the records on every single vote that has taken place for shareholders owning this stock, we were in the anywhere from 30% or less, and the reverse stock split, I think, hit 43% of votes, which I would have thought that is the biggest, most important vote that AMC ever had. They didn't vote. Now, it goes round and round. I've heard it in the comments. International voters, I couldn't vote. This, this, and this, and this. But 18%. That means 81% of the shares. Okay? 81% of the shares. Too lazy or couldn't vote. Or, I don't know. Those are the ones held by institutions. Maybe we don't truly own 80 to 90% either. Anybody ever think of that? But that was what we are told. But again, where's the proof? I've always said that. Where's the proof that there ever was 3.8 million or 4.2 million shareholders? Like actual proof. All we ever heard was from Adam's mouth and that lawyer's mouth, which we know lawyers are known for what? Michael Cohen lying their asses off, right? And we've seen what Adam's done. I'm sure there's some of you still fucking loving that man. But still, 18%. And here's what's trippy about it. Okay, how in the hell... This one blows my mind. Stockholders approve the 2024 equity incentive plan. The proposal required a majority of the vote. So you guys approved these guys to have 25 million shares to dilute themselves with, to give to themselves again? 31 million shares, 691, said yes. 
18 million said no. So that's 11.5%. So 11.5% of the outstanding float, the float that's available, voted, yes, let's give them shares again. And only 6.5%, half of that, said no. I don't get it, man. And then 87 million, 578 were those non-votes. 31% of the float non-votes. And then the other 50% of the float didn't exist. So that one blew my mind. And then we failed that one. We failed that one. What's really crazy is, check this out. This makes no sense to me. It has to be institutions at this point. Ratification of the appointment of the independent register publicly accounting firm. You're going to tell me that all these shareholders out there decided we're not going to vote on the other shit. We're not. But we're going to go ahead and vote on using Ernest & Young, which we've done videos on that. One of the most crooked people or crooked audit, whatever you want to call firms out there, have all kinds of violations and things against them, right? That was the whole storyline. You're going to tell me that 113 Million nine hundred sixty-four thousand shares decided to vote. Forty-one percent of the outstanding shares, almost forty-one percent, not fifty percent, but almost half, out of all these votes, voted for. It. So what was that? Who would vote for that? Why was that stacked? Why did that stack? That's two times, three times, three times as many said yes on that than any of the other votes. Uh, let's see, the amendment of the Comfort Certificate and Incorporation to expand the expulsion provision to limit the liability of certain officers. Brah, 36 million of you voted to limit their liability? Only 13 million of you voted against it? Same thing, 13 and 4%. Like you wanted them to have freedom to do and not pay for their, their I mean, that made no sense, right? Why, why were all these yes people, man? Like how was they all exist? Uh, Non-Biden advisory vote on executive compensation. You gave them shares, 25 million freaking of our shares, but when it came to executive compensation, or compensation 30 million of you shares voted against. Same difference, 11 and 7. 19 million of you said you want to raise their compensation. Compensation, I can't even say the word. 19 million shares worth said, hey, yeah, let's raise your money. Let's pay you more while we're all sitting in the red. Makes no sense, man. Like, I... To eliminate the probation against stockholders acting reading, or acting by a written consent. Amendment of the company certificate of incorporation to eliminate the prohibition against stockholders acting by written consent. Now, you failed to approve it, but 41,163,000 voted for that and 9 million voted against that. So, yeah, 81% said no, or yes, yes, let's do that. An amendment of the company certificate of incorporation to remove the limitation on stockholders' ability to call special meetings. 41% said, let's, 41 million, which is 81% of the, the ones that voted, uh, of incorporation to remove the limitation on stockholders' ability to call special meetings. So you voted to remove that. Okay, cool. All right. That sounds like you guys were thinking straight. Uh, election of election of directors. You all voted for thirty two million. Same difference, dude. It's like it's like we're split. The people that are taking the time to vote are split down the middle. Like literally the numbers. So it's like when I say split, so seventy five, roughly sixty to seventy five percent, and well sixty five percent are always yes voters. It looks like, and then the others are no voters. So weird, man. Where is everybody? And you're voting for Philip Ladder. 32 million said, yeah, well, Phil Ladder's a great guy. Amendment of the company's certificate of incorporation to declassify the board of directors, shorten all existing terms to expire at the annual meeting, and make certain other and material changes to the certificate of incorporation. We failed to approve that. 43 million, that's 86.5%, agreed. Now, is this the one, uh, certificate of course, and declassify the board of directors, shorten all existing terms to expire at the annual meeting, and make certain other and material changes? Yeah, I don't know if this is the one that could help with the buyout. I remember uh, CSI talking about that, but crazy. All right, got interrupted there. Um, got to run and get some sand for this pool project. But regardless, and it's one of them little cheap blow-up pools you'll see. But regardless, like, I've just never set well with the idea of 
Where the hell is 3.8 million, 4.2 million people? And the reason I say two is, look at the call. Those of you that were on it on the live stream with uh, Keith Gill, deep, uh, deep value. There was at one point, if I recall, there was about 700 and something thousand people watching. Now I know it's over two something million, maybe closer to three million views at this point, but that was highly publicized. There was articles about it. I mean, it was being talked about all over social media. Why wasn't there 3.8 million? I mean, that's GME, but still, I mean, we gotta be honest, at the end of the day, Keith Gill is like the central man to all of this retail crap, okay? Uh, much bigger than anybody else that I can think of, even bigger than Trey was. Trey was like the baby version of Keith for AMC. Let's get real, right? And then all the other little spinoff people like me and the rest of them. Um, but regardless, where was the 3.8 million there? You know what I mean? Like if everybody's holding these shares and truly believes in this being a life-changing moment and an opportunity to make a ton of money, where the hell are they? Like, why are they not involved? Like that just never sets with me. And I just feel like, man, one day we're gonna find out that there was a massive lie behind that or there's something deeper behind that that we've just never been told that there really wasn't truly 4.2 million dedicated shareholders that we thought there were, right? It made us feel good. It made us wanna be a part of that. But like, here's a prime example. There's articles coming out. DJT stock. Donald Trump. Let's be honest. Donald Trump has more Trump fans than there are AMC fans. Than there ever was meme stock fans. I don't care if you combine all the meme stocks together. Donald Trump had 81 million or however many votes it was for him. There is a big Trump movement. There's an insane amount of Trump people out there but only 665 million or 665,000, whatever it was, less than 700,000 shareholders own DJT stock. And they're all saying that they support them. I mean, if we look at all these numbers, there's all these excitable, crazy numbers. Like how many own Tesla? I guess NVIDIA, I, I wish we could find that number. NVIDIA just passed up Tesla for the most retail shareholders. So when you look at all these equations, man, I just always felt like there's some deeper, darker shit that we're not aware of. But what do you guys think, man? What, I mean, what do you think? Where's the voters? Why aren't they voting? Why is it only 18%, which is decreased significantly because at least it was 30 plus percent. 50 million shares cared to vote? I don't know, man. And then the, what I just read off, think about that. Anyway, just my thoughts, my rants about what's happening. It's still AMC shareholder not going to be making a bunch of videos on it really want to focus on what brings joy to my heart which is working with my wife working with my little mini farm here so if you haven't watched them guys take some take some time to watch them i know people maybe not care but i try to be fun in them try to share with you my experiences the mistakes that i make trying to be a homesteader but anyway thanks you for tuning in i know some of you are going to be hating in my uh Every time I make an AMC video and I question or doubt something or call out Adam Aaron or call out some of these uh, pumper tubers, you know, there's guys got to jump in my comments, blah, 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 blah. And they're going to say, oh, Ken must have gave Mike a call. But dude, who cares about a thousand views? We can't even get more than 18% to vote. So you think any of us matter anymore? Well, I don't know that we ever mattered. Anyway, peace.